Hola, estudiantes. So, I'm going to do some work with the, back to the subjunctive again. I know we've taken a little break with that. It's like we kind of forgot about it, but definitely not. Um, el modo subjuntivo, it is a mode, uh, a mood, not a, a tense. So you know the construction of it. You start with the yo form, and you add the opposite ending of that form there. Um, so you did all this already. Esto. Just wanted to point that out. And this is another um, good reference, too. Is This has all the forms on it anyway. Um, it's got the yo forms here, and then these are the subjunctive forms. Bien? So this is a good thing to use when you do this. The subjunctive after impersonal expressions. Bien? So this is a situation where you use the subjunctive. There's these eight here, you can say. Es dudoso, okay? It's doubtful that. See, that's what the subjunctive is for. It's for un unknown things or uh, in certain what they call impersonal expressions. Um, like, oh, it's a pity that, but you have to use the word K there, okay? So anytime you use these expressions, you're going to use the subjunctive after that. Like, it's doubtful that, es dudoso que lo compre. It's doubtful that he'll buy it. So it kind of indicates future in some, in some cases. Um, but here's where you don't use the subjunctive, okay? There's certain things like this. Es cierto que, es evidente. Okay, it's true that. See, it's not, it is known. It's true. It's clear. So you don't use the subjunctive there. In fact, you can use any tense you want after that. So where it says, es cierto que estudia mucho, it's certain that he studies a lot. See how that's just regular old present tense? But it could be any tense. It's es cierto que yo verá mañana. It's certain that it will rain tomorrow. So I used future tense there. Um, these are in the regular present tense, but like I said, it could be any tense. Um, so, van a completar A y B. I'm going to do A and B, A y B. Um, it says, subraya usted la forma correcta del verbo entre paréntesis. Underline usted, it's just usted. You don't have to underline, you can circle it. Circle the correct form, and then it says traduzca, then you translate it. Okay? Um, Sometimes you don't even use K at all. There's some situations where you don't do that. I think there's a couple of those on here um, that you'll see. But, you know, most importantly, you have to decide if it's subjunctive or not, okay? So some of these, it's, it's not all the subjunctive, okay? You have to decide based on these things I explained here. And then you will turn that in to the sub. Yeah? Yeah.